how are we going to celebrate? Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting this year because we usually both go to our families. So this is one of the, for me, it's only the second Christmas I've ever missed at home. So it'll be the first year of, you know, being a family and creating our own traditions. And um, last year I was very pregnant and on bed rest and we had a house full of people. And this year will be us. And I think what I want to do is just um, go out and take a hike that day and just have her, just all babies all day long. I imagine it must be extra special for you, especially on the holidays, to have the babies. I mean, Christmas is such a great time. Oh my God, it's so magical. Well, every day feels like Christmas at our house. We're just like, I wake up at six or whenever I hear a little coo and I'm like, spring, I spring out of bed and I'm just so happy to go see them. It's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Um, any holiday traditions that you are going to bring forward into your family that maybe you and your husband have had in the past? Wow, you know, we haven't actually talked about it yet, but um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I think I think it's just going to be about figuring it out this year and, you know, what, what that's going to be. Let it happen. Yeah. So you're here for a very good reason. You I tell am. us why. I'm here because um, a book has been written called Snow People. and. Uh, the pro $2 of the uh, proceeds of the book is going to go to St. Jude's, which of course is an incredible uh, hospital for children. And um, what's really interesting that I didn't know is that St. Jude's never turns any child down for lack of funds. So they do you know, a lot of fundraising. Um, I thought this was a brilliant idea to write a children's book that um, really is about celebrating individuality and self-expression. And when they asked to come read it, you know, I thought it'd be magical like this, and it is. So, my girls are roaming around. There's tons of kids, and I just—it's it's really lovely. And there's snow people in LA. And there's snow people in LA, <laughs> talking snow people. Oh my God, it's really so cute. <laughs> and they're very glamorous. You're very just, glamorous. Scarves. Yes, brown, very glamorous. Really which you know makes me think that you know when I make a snowman again that I can or snow woman that I could sort of you know add a little zhuzh to it. You know. A little bit. Beverly a little Hills something, thing. something. So and of course, Sax is the um, exclusive. Yes, Sax is exclusively carrying the book and. Um, oh. Got to so read soon. <laughs> yes, and Saks is uh, the only place carrying this very special book. And again, two dollars of the proceeds of that book goes to St. Jude. So it's a it's a great present to buy. Last question. Yes. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions. Gosh, you know things are so. Yes, actually I do. Um, I've been very very busy, and so a lot of people have gone by the wayside in terms of being able to spend time. So I'm hoping like this year is our reconnecting year with all our friends and, you know, because we were busy raising, having and raising the babies. So now it's time to invite everybody back in. So that's my New Year's resolution. So nice. Yeah. Good luck today. No, Thank you. Doing, oh, I do, do want to ask you, what exactly are you going to be doing today? I'm reading Snow People. And from what I understand, 